In today's video, we're going to be straying a little bit from the norm for the types of videos that I usually place on this channel. But I did feel that this would be a very interesting video that my viewers would like to see. What we're going to do is we're going to take this microscope right here and I'm going to take some yogurt. In this case, it'll just be this brand right here, probiotic yogurt. And we're going to be taking a look at the active bacteria cultures that are in that yogurt. I'll be placing them on a slide. Once that bacteria is placed on that slide, we will observe what it looks like under the microscope. Now one other thing that I would like to do after we view the live bacteria under the microscope and also identify a few of the bacteria that are inside that yogurt, we can pick them out under the microscope, is see what kind of an effect ultraviolet light has on that bacteria. Now this one here is ultraviolet light UVC. It has a short wavelength and it's a germicidal wand. Its intended use is to sterilize countertops and other hard surfaces and to kill bacteria and viruses. They claim up to 99.9%. .9%. Now to get started, we're going to take a brand new slide. There's a glass microscope slide. Place it down right here. Stay away from the middle of it with my hands. You can see the slide there better. The first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of water. This is a very weak saline. It's 1% sodium chloride. Put one drop in the middle. And we're good to go with that. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of yogurt. Mix it with the water. The next step is to place a cover slip over the top of that solution. And that went down nicely. Let me just slide it this way a little bit. Once that cover slip is applied, just make sure there's no air bubbles in there. And that looks pretty good. And I can now place it in the microscope. Now the magnification I'm using is very high, it's 1000 times. And I'm using oil immersion. What the oil does between the slide and the 100 times lens is that it allows for much better contrast and a sharper image. Now what I'd like to do is take the UVC wand, place it right against the glass slide, and leave it turned on for approximately one minute. Now this is being advertised that after 20 seconds to a minute, that it will kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. So we're going to give this a test to see if there's any activity in the bacteria on the slide after the light has been removed. We're now going to take the UVC sterilizing wand, turn it on, hold it within very close proximity of this glass slide over the cover slip, and hold it there for approximately one minute and then turn it off. All right, it's now on. Let's bring it right over it. And we're going to keep that right over that slide for about a minute. What I will do is I will speed up the video so you don't have to wait the full minute. Moving it back and forth slightly at a very close distance, maybe an eighth of an inch, to make sure the entire cover slip is being irradiated with the UVC light. All right, I'm going to turn it off and remove it now. Now, according to the manufacturers of these wands, it kills 99.9% .9 of the bacteria and viruses within the 20 seconds to a minute or maybe a little more. So I did it for a little over a minute at very close distance. We're now going to place the slide back into the microscope with oil immersion again. 
and take a look to see if the bacteria is still moving. As you can see, after irradiating the slide with over one minute of UVC light, there is still plenty of activity with the bacteria on that slide. So when they say it kills 99.9% .9 in a certain time frame, they really don't mean that it kills it. Now what happens based on the research that I did, the UVC light damages the bacteria, damages the DNA within that bacteria and it prevents the bacteria from multiplying. Ordinarily the bacteria, if it was not treated by the light, it would continue to multiply. You'd have one, it would split into two, two would split into four. So by using this light, you're not killing them. You're altering the DNA in the bacteria in such a way that it prevents the bacteria from multiplying and eventually they just die off. Now the only way to confirm that the bacteria has been damaged and it will not multiply further from the use of the UV light would be to do a culture. You'd have to mix up the agar and then you'd do a swab. You would take the bacteria that was exposed to the UV light, apply it to the agar, put the cover back on, then place this culture in an incubator for up to 24 hours. After being in the incubator for 24 hours, you would take a look at the agar where you brushed on the bacteria, which you supposedly deactivated with your UVC light, and you shouldn't see any colonies growing on top of the agar. If you did see colonies growing, that means your UVC treatment did not work. Now just because you turn on a wand like this and bring it over surface does not guarantee you're killing all the bacteria and viruses. You want to make sure the light is in contact with the bacteria for a long enough period of time and you also want to have it very close to the bacteria. So from this test we can conclude that the UVC light does not kill the bacteria once it's been shined on the bacteria, but over time that bacteria will no longer multiply and die. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you.